Hello everybody and welcome back to more Kingdoms of Amalur. I've taken the liberty of walking all the way over to Brun. Hello. The Bard. Hello. You have gone through much to bring me this. Only to watch it destroyed. Mm -hmm. But it must be done. You understand? This letter proves that I am an heir to Gastir. And an heir to his heartlessness. He gave my mother everything. When all she wanted was his love. And now, she's gone. You are my friend. You may not agree, but that is what I choose to believe. You have helped me more than anyone has. I will remember you. I hope you will remember me. Farewell. I want to see you destroy that shit. Like, it doesn't actually say to give him titles and money, though, so... Hmm, I don't know. But I'm like... Very surprised if he actually does, like, doesn't profit from it at all. And his arm is sinking into the ground. Burn, wake up. Your arm is being amputated by the ground. Okay. Be on your guard. So he apparently just gave me a dagger, which is not as good. And he gave me a shitload, a shit load of potions and I don't want more potions. Why? Why are you doing this to me, Brun? Brun, Brun, Brun. Brunny Brun. Okay, let's go do this because I'm sure we have enough Bulganize now. I'm, I think. It doesn't... Yeah. I have to have 10 Bulganize or else it wouldn't be leading me here. Duh! Okay. What? When did I get a curse? That must have been forever ago. Oh. Oh my. That's kind of serious. Whatever. So... <clears throat> I feel like... Ah! Uh, the audio? Like, I put down the music volume so much that I just can't hear anything, but at the same time, when battle starts, it's fucking deafening. It's horrid. But now when I play normally without battling anything, it just feels so... empty? Wait, wasn't he alive before? Recent hunts. Krang the Etten. Not the brightest beastie I've ever had the pleasure to slay, although I will commend his decision not to plunge from the cliffs after being stabbed repeatedly. At least he wasn't in the position of having his skull broken to bits. Not after watching his blood spill from his severed so shoulder sockets in a rush of red sauce. Poor disgusting brute. No one will bother him anymore, will they? Gornak of Corthus. Ah, the Fist of Corthus. An island paradise if you're deft enough to avoid the sand crabs and not acquire the dreaded fire piss imbalance that causes so much nightly suffering. I, for one, was not so lucky. Oh, did not need to know that. Still, the great scarab Gornak was a well-earned kill, and one I will gladly toot upon my return to Rathir. Such a battle is worthy of praise. Scarabs give me the shivers they do right down to the ends of my toes. Craddock Elders. Whenever I hear that twitchy shudder, that delighted click of spidery legs, I just about empty myself into my britches. True, such a statement is not expected of one of my reputation, but I do believe I have earned such honesty with my numerous victories and wall of exceptional trophies. The more Crudduck one can kill, the better. Oh, that reminds me. I, I had this little ant in my room. It wasn't that little, actually. It was kind of big for an ant. But, like, it was crawling over my walls, and I have a lot of paper plastered on my walls. And I know that kind of sounds sketchy, but like paper as in like, I don't know, throughout my school years I've got various like little award achievement awards or whatever, academic achievement awards. And I have those on my wall. And like little drawings that I did as a kid. And it started crawling on those and the sound that it made while crawling on the, on the, uh, paper was just so disgusting. It just creeped the fuck out of me. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, you just... Did you just seriously do that? Alright, well. Let's just use Reckoning Mode on this guy. 
We have it. We might as well use it, right? Did what he couldn't. Um, a might thing. And not as good. And turn bog's eyes. Ooh! Big blood splatters out of nowhere. Okay, why do we. What? What do I want the eye for? Do I give it to someone? I don't know, I don't have any side quests left. Okay, where does this lead me? Down there, and um... This same place? Really? Almost the same place. <laughs> okay. I guess it's time to go down there, then. I won't argue with what the game tells me. Alright. But, uh... You know what? We might as well fast travel to Damalrock. And then run from there. Because I'm a lazy bum. I don't want to run. <laughs> Look at them all just standing around. I am so gonna aggro them, aren't I? I don't want to fight more Bulgans, honestly. Just, just leave me alone. Oh my god, they left me alone. Thank you. Oh god, there's more Bulgans. Bulgans are like one of the most annoying monsters ever. They're just so fat. And they have these shields that make it so you can't just mindlessly fucking attack them. Well, you kind of can, but it's not as effective. It's so nice to see another elemental effect for once. Okay, where does this lead? What is that? Essence of Fate. Hmm. Cool. That's a nice little alcove. Little sanctuary type place, I guess. Okay. The lore stone just kind of cut off. I know I said I kind of gave up on listening to them, but like... I don't know. did he get set f on fire from? I didn't use any fire skills at all, did I? Oh, I don't know. What is this place? Where does this lead? It's... What? Alright, just gonna... <laughs> My directional sense is like... Uh, I blame the fact that I am a woman and I have poor spatial abilities, whatever those are called. I don't see if you forget. And before you go calling me sex sexist or whatever, I don't know what you would call that really, but like, it is proven scientific fact. Like, women have, compared to men, women have poor spatial abilities. I guess I shouldn't call it poor. Poorer? Worse? I don't know. 
Alright. But I was about to say that the lore stone? The... what's it called? The subtitles didn't used to keep up, but now they do. Guess it's another advantage of having a new computer. Oh my god, there's so many of you. Why are there so many of you? Uh, why are there so many of you? My treat, guys. the fuck? Skill cooldown went on without me actually using the skill. I hate how they just like pivot on their axis. It's like, no, people don't turn around that fast and it's like, a monster that's as fat as this sure as fuck doesn't turn around that fast. Do you want to die by my uh, dodge? That sounds fun. Oh, no, you died by my shield. That's fun, too. Don't worry, there's fun for everyone. Alright. Okay, so I need to go that way, and apparently there's people behind me. Hi, you are not welcome. Go away. Oh, I'm sure I'm not welcome. Let's finish this. My thoughts exactly. I really don't want to battle you guys. You guys are annoying. There we go. How do I... how do I even... No, what am I doing? Well, that sucks. I didn't realize I had to go that way. Shit. Okay, well, it's not that long a run. It's not that big a deal. There's someone who can train me up there. Train me in what? You look kinda sad, dude. Or woman. Lady. Lady? Oh! Wait! Oh my god, your voice. You're not going to tell anyone about me, are you? What? Not that I've done anything wrong, mind you. I just didn't have the will to fight anymore. So I well I stopped. Fighting, that is. Private Elia Madmia reporting for duty. Oh, I am not fooling anyone. Listen, I've got some useful skills to trade if you're willing to keep my little secret hushed. Lock picking for your silence or gold. Wait, what? You're gonna charge me? Like, I thought this was gonna be the whole, like, for your silence thing. So if I pay you gold, I can go and tell people? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Interesting. Rigorous training. What did we even do here? Okay. Nice little vantage point? Question mark? What is this place? Sea Watch. Okay. And I need to go down there. Okay. Got it. Easy enough, right? Fucking Face the dark dustling. <laughs> Annoying. Leave me alone. You're gonna burn. 
that's interesting. I. It seems that it's a lot. <sighs> okay. Well, I am totally making a mess of what I'm trying to say. But it seems like um, chakrams have a lot longer, quote unquote, cooldown on um, its attacks animation. So if I attack, okay. Any luck finding him. Ventrinio and his big secret? What? Oh my god, it's been so long since I've done the main quest that I have no idea who this guy is. Is this the guy who... Is this the... Is this the first Fate Weaver dude that I met? I don't... I don't know. I don't remember. He'll be here soon. And it looks like they're not far behind you. If you were anyone else, I'd try to stop you. As it is, I'll just wish you good luck. This can't end here. I think it is. What are you doing here? Oh, there's people approaching behind me. Well, don't let me stop you. Okay. What does one do in the face of certain death? No, I'm in chair. Leave me alone, Ventrinio! You haven't tried going in there, have you? No, of course you haven't. You're still alive. This <laughs> took a little longer to find than I had hoped, but it should be exactly what you need. What is it that I need? What? Tell me what it is. Dren had a twin in the summer court. Dith, the defender of valor. They were both entirely immune to each other's power. She faded when the House of Valor fell, but my early experiments with the Well of Souls provided a quite useful little surprise. You see, when trying to draw life energy from the ether, I captured her essence and bound it into this charm. With this, you will be immune to Dren's power. How is this useful? It's not as powerful as it used to be, and it's specific to Dren. But it'll let you face him and live. You stole her soul? Now be fair. Fae don't have souls as mortals do. They are a form of magic with a physical form. And so? I only got a little of it anyway. Just enough for a certain degree of immunity to Dren's power. It only works for one person, but it'll be enough for you to reach him. Trouble is, he'll be immune to your power as well. But I'm sure you can think of something. Are you kidding me? I'm supposed to go there and think of something? Are you shitting now, me? Go That's your show advice? That defender what a Run. little magic can do. Run from what? <laughs> Run! Well, what's the problem? Anyways, the reason I was trying to avoid Ventrinio was because I wanted to go loot first, but I guess it's not that big a deal since I can loot after, but, you know... By the gods, oh, what do you want? He killed them all and nothing could stop him! Who did? It was Dren, that freak who guards the House of Pride. He told us to leave, but we thought we could beat him. Idiots. He's just one fae, and not even a Tuatha, but nothing hurt him, and he slaughtered us all. The worst thing was, he seemed sorry to kill us. Why is that the worst thing? What exactly happened? We'd heard the legends of Dren the Bloody, unbeatable defender of the House of Pride. But you know how fae are with their stories. We were going to be the ones who beat him and opened the path to Alabastra for the army. We were going to be heroes, you <laughs> we know? We were going to be heroes, you know? Then Dren told us to turn around or we'd die. And God's help us. We didn't turn around. You know, this is such a common thing in books, in games, in movies. People are told what to do. People are told what's going to happen. They don't believe it. They do it anyways. And then they die. Your problem, not mine. I can defeat him. We thought so too. We were wrong. Yeah, well, I'm not, so fuck you. I got this weird glowy gem thing from Mr. Ventrinio. Alright. 
face Calisterin. Mm-hmm. Okay. Reach Sincere. You know, I feel like one of the reasons I'm not enjoying this game as much as I should be is because... Well, let's see, I've been playing this game for over a year now. Not continuously, obviously, but that's the problem. Like, I... I don't really have an ongoing story in my head for this game anymore. I just, I don't know what's going on. I don't know who these characters are, or what they're doing, or how they relate to each other. It's all gone in my head now. I just, I don't understand anymore. Oh, look at that bloody streak. Must be scary. Oh, maybe I should, like, heal up before I go, huh? That might be smart. Turn back or die. I'm not leaving. Then you shall die like the others before you. I made an oath to protect my house and my homeland. No power short of death can keep me from fulfilling my duties. Why do you assume that I'm here to cause you harm? I know your intentions are to free my people from the Tuatha. You seem an honorable sort. You even bear the blessing of my sister. Who's your sister? But I have sworn an oath to defend my house and homeland. Defend it against who? I cannot who? let you in without a fight. And you cannot win against me. Against what? If only things could be different. If only the Tuatha <sighs> were gone and my sister was back. I'm so lost right now. Okay. Okay, no. I do have the Essence of Valor. Okay, that's good. But um, what I would like, actually, is um, mana. Is greater better or master better? I think greater is... I mean, I think master is better and greater is the lower. I think. Alright, well, you're getting fate shifted, obviously. Oh. Maybe, do something. Oh my god, he isn't getting affected by it at all. Well, maybe fate shifting him wasn't a good idea until... Well... He's not being affected by my attacks whatsoever. So I guess fate shifting wasn't a good idea. The now. What? Enough. We could fight each other until the mountains wear away, but that will aid nothing. Okay. I thought we were actually going to fight and I was actually going to kill you. I thought I was gonna have to like, I don't know, do something. Let me pass. My sister and I were chosen to protect our kind. So long as our houses stood, the Fae would never pass from this world. I in pride, and she in valor. We never imagined that our houses could crumble beneath our feet. Mortals led to the collapse of my sister's house, but with Gadflo's help, they shall not have mine. He may taint pride with his Prismere and his obscene god, but it will keep us eternal. <sighs> Gadflo is my enemy, not pride. I cannot yield, but if your true intent is to stop Gadflow, then perhaps there is a way my house and my honor could remain pure. What? If you would promise to spare the House of Pride, then we could put aside our powers and have an honest battle. Win, and your army may pass. I've been trying to say this for the last ten minutes, dude. I don't care about your House of Pride, okay? If this is the only way to secure a chance for my house's untainted survival, then so be it. If you should win, then destroy the Tuatha in my house and the hateful witch knight Myrna. Then we can be truly free. Oh my god, why are you attacking me all of a sudden? What the fuck? Now you want to fight? God, what the fuck, man? Well, and I already fate shifted you, so I can't do... I like your sword, dude. Where'd you get it? Oh my god, everything's breaking! Whoa. Where's my... I always just pass it. Might as well. Not that I really use it. Whoa! Okay, I had no idea. 
a skill like that existed. What's with the red circles? What are you doing? so close to him when I did that. Okay, that wall just fucking screws up my camera so much. Whoa. Alright, you and your weird... Okay, it's not... <laughs> it didn't aim at the right spot. And he's too far. Why are you a mage all of a sudden? What the fuck, dude? I'm sorry, I mean, um, how, how very, whatever, honorable, death, blah blah blah. Alright. You did it! You actually beat him! Yes, I owe Ventrinio a drink. You vote? You. You bet against me? My promise to liberate his house. A promise is a promise, and the Witch Knights of Pride would be powerful allies to have on our side. I'll send a few soldiers along to help. Meanwhile, I'll get the other troops ready to move into Alabastra once that gate opens. Yeah, he totally is that first guy. The gate to Alabastra <laughs> still closed, and we can't open it without the House of Pride's help. Clean out the Tawatha inside, and we can move on. Okay. Get that gate open. And the army will be ready to go. I feel like anyone watching is going to be so exasperated at my memory or lack thereof of people and things here. But honestly, you try playing a game for a year. <laughs> You're not going to remember shit. Alright, well anyways, since we finished this little bit of the quest, I'm going to cut it off. And next time we can head into this place, the House of Pride. Ooh.